All right, there are a few milestones in life you just don't want to miss, right? Some of the top of the list, graduations, weddings, something I've been to a lot of, births. <laughs> you have you now. <laughs> just a few. It's especially true when you're welcoming your own child into the world, right? New Center Maine's Chloe Tebow joins us this morning to explain how one Maine dad went extra miles, literally, to be there for his family's special day. Hi, Chloe. Hey, guys. Good morning. Yeah, he definitely did. So Ryan Burkhardt of Saco works offshore down south one month on and then one month off. He and his wife, Emily, planned his work schedule around her due date, but their baby had other plans. Emily went into labor early, leaving Ryan up against three missed flights, 1,700 miles in the air, and almost 200 miles of driving with just 25 hours to do it all. Oh, this is our little man, Weston Wayne Burkhart. Emily and Ryan Burkhart of Saco are still trying to adjust to life as new parents. Now he's having a little bit of fussy spells, but wouldn't change anything. He's awesome. Yeah. He really is. Yeah. It hasn't even been two weeks since they welcomed Weston into the world, but there has already been plenty of excitement. I told Weston every night, you know, wait for daddy to get here. <laughs> Ryan works offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. He and Emily thought they had his work schedule well planned so he would be home in time for Weston's birth. But then I get a call from her at 2.30 a.m. that her water broke. And I was still on the ship. A moment that felt disappointing. Was kind of beating myself up about not taking more time off so I could be there. Ryan talked to his chief mate to let his team know he needed to take a helicopter the next day as soon as possible to try to get home. That day he was definitely like in, in another headspace. He was uh, freaking out pretty bad and really wanted to get off the ship in a hurry. The helicopter arrived the next afternoon, but it was delayed and Ryan missed three flights he was originally planning to take. Then through a desperate search on the internet, Ryan found his golden ticket, a flight leaving New Orleans at 6.30 p.m. that then left Detroit at 9.44 p.m. and landed in Boston at half past midnight. From there, a rental car took him all the way up to Portland. How fast do you think you were driving that car to get up there? I, I was I was going pretty quick. <laughs> Quickly enough that there was still an hour to go until Weston arrived at 417 in the morning on February 10th. When he walked in, it was like, ah, we were all, you know, I was jumping up and down. It was very, very emotional. Yeah. Emotional in the best way possible. It was like when the Patriots beat Atlanta in the Super Bowl. Just little things just kept happening to make it happen. All right, so that's truly only a comparison a New Englander would make. And some happy news for the Burkharts. Ryan now has six weeks off to adjust to fatherhood. The couple says Weston is basically sleeping all day and is awake all night at this point. So they have a pretty good routine going of switching off responsibilities. Sleeping all day and awake all night. Yeah. Very typical. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's great. It's good stuff. I love the picture of little know, Weston with so his cute. They're such a cute family. Yeah, very cute family. Nice. So congratulations, you guys.